Welcome, John Lindstrom, Easy Laser. I'm going to show you how to set up the card and bracket set, how to rough align and prepare for precision alignment using Easy Laser XT770 shaft alignment system. The card and bracket set which I'm using is suitable both for Generation XT as well as the E series. Well, as you can see, the cardan shaft is removed, so let's get to work. Always start with cleaning and inspecting the set for any damage. The set contains a bracket for the movable machine and a bracket for the stationary machine. The bracket for the stationary machine consists of three precision grinded arms, two precision grinded magnetic bases and bolts for mounting these together. Make sure that the serial numbers on the magnetic bases and the arms match the numbers at the system report. They are approved and delivered as a set. If you find any damage on an arm or a magnetic base, or if one of them is dropped, it should be considered as not functional until it's been measured and approved. With one card and set, you can align machines with an offset up to 900 mm. In this case, the offset is a little bit below 300 mm, so I could use just one arm. However, since it's so close to the limit of 300, I choose two arms. That gives me more flexibility when I have to adjust the bracket during rough alignment. Start with setting up the bracket on the movable machine and make sure that it's placed roughly in the center of rotation. Place the M unit onto the bracket. To light up the laser, switch on the M unit and start the card and program in the XT11 display unit or in a phone or a tablet. Proceed with coning the laser beam in the M unit. Since we don't know how the laser is pointing, it's better to use a big target. In this case, I'm using a big piece of cardboard. I position the cardboard facing the M unit and its laser beam. Attach it to the flange of the stationary machine or as close to the flange as possible. Place the M unit at 12 o'clock and mark where the laser hit the cardboard. Rotate the M unit to 6 o'clock and mark the laser position. Mark a third position in between the two dots. Adjust the laser pointing direction to the third marking. Rotate the M unit and if necessary fine tune the laser and confirm that the laser dot stays in its position when rotating the M unit. Assemble the bracket for the stationary machine. Notice that the upper magnet is not completely fixed and the arms are for now just fixed with one bolt. This will make the adjustment of the bracket easier. Everything will be tightened and fixed when the bracket is in its position. That's when the laser from the M unit hits bullseye on the bracket which is now placed onto the stationary machine.
when the bracket is in its position and everything is properly tightened. Place the S-unit onto the bracket and light up the laser by switching on the S-unit. The Carden program is already up and running. Remove the M-unit from the bracket so that you get access to the target on the bracket. Check so that the laser stays on the target when rotating the S-unit. If it makes a circle that goes out of the target, use a bigger target. For example, the same piece of cardboard that I used previously. I have confirmed that the laser stays on the target. Place the S-unit at 12 o'clock and mark where the laser hit the target. Rotate the S-unit to 6 o'clock and mark the laser position. Mark a third position in between the two dots. Adjust the laser pointing direction to the third marking. Confirm that the laser dot stays in its position when rotating the SU. Adjust the bracket at the stationary machine. The laser from the S-unit should hit bullseye on the bracket placed on the movable machine. I prefer to remove a few bolts completely since it makes it easier to adjust the arm. If you do so, don't forget to put them back again. Before proceeding with step 4, remove the S-unit from the bracket. Place the M-unit onto the bracket at the movable machine and confirm that its coning is still OK. Align the movable machine, both vertically and horizontally. The laser from the M-unit shall hit bullseye on the bracket placed at the stationary machine. When adjusting the machine horizontally, you can adjust by the front or the back of the machine, or both. It's important to make sure to avoid that the machine ends up in a bolt-bound condition when proceeding and performing the precision alignment. Repeat step 3 and adjust the bracket at the stationary machine. Before adjusting the bracket, confirm that the S-unit's coning is still OK. Repeat step 4 and align the movable machine, if necessary both vertically and horizontally. But first, don't forget to check the coning.
Step 3 and 4 has to be repeated until the laser from both the stationary and the movable measuring units hit bullseye on the targets, without having to adjust the bracket at the stationary machine or do any adjustment on the movable machine. Rough alignment is completed. Prepare for precision alignment by adjusting the laser pointing direction. Place the measuring units so that they face each other. I'm placing them at 12 o'clock. Adjust the S units laser into bullseye at the M units target and the M units laser into bullseye at the S units target. Make sure to adjust in the correct directions. There are markings on the measuring units that shows the direction. Verify that the laser from the measuring units stays on target and close to bullseye in three positions, preferable in positions 9, 12 and 3 o'clock. We are now ready to use the card and program to proceed with our precision alignment. Good luck!